Party dance time. And action. Hit the button, baby. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. One doomsday rumor has a planet, a rogue planet named Nibiru or Planet X coming into the solar system and crashing into Earth. This is silly. If there were such an object, anybody could see it. It would be one of the brightest things in the sky. And all of a sudden, NASA started talking about Planet X. I was like, wait, what, 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 wait, what? Hi, I'm Jim Green, Director of Planetary Science at NASA. I couldn't be more pleased about what's happening. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. NASA wants you to find a missing planet. Want to work for NASA? From the comforts of your couch, the space agency is looking to fulfill an amateur astronomer's dream. Dash? Credit for the discovery of a new planet. Asterisk? NASA is looking for help to find the mysterious and as yet undiscovered Planet 9. A new website, Backyard Worlds, Planet 9, lets people comb through the footage captured by the agency's WISE Field Infrared Survey Explorer. WISE, mission a few years ago. There are too many images for us to search through by ourselves, NASA said. All right, we were at Backyard Worlds, Planet 9 talk, looking at some of the more interesting images that have appeared in the hunt for Planet 9. Okay, that looks like Star. Nothing too spectacular, fantastic. Don't worry, we're just getting started. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find rogue brown dwarfs and Planet 9 and all sorts of crazy crap. Is that a black hole? Is that an anti-planet? Is that a reverse magnetar? I don't know. Oh my god, I think the ghost on my screen is moaning. That's exciting. She sounds female and extremely hot. Yep, that's why my mom knocks on my door and is like, What are you doing? I'm gonna be like, Hunt for Planet 9! Leave me alone, Ma! No, I'm just kidding. I'm in my own apartment. My mom's like, Five hours away. Probably playing golf. Now, some of these images are beautiful. It's beautiful science. It's causing my short pants to tingle. I'm sciencing for real, y'all. As you can see, there are a lot of wonderful, beautiful colors. Oh, this one looks fascinating. Is that Planet X right there? Maybe, but probably not. I think it's like the Willy Wonka gold ticket, where they're not going to let it out at the beginning. They're going to let a little bit of excitement percolate up, percolate up. They're gone for a couple months, and then they'll, like, slip the Planet 9 photographs into the chocolate bars, and then someone will be a lucky winner. And then they'll probably let you tour NASA's secret vault chocolate factory where they keep all the awesome technology like the anti-grav, star chambers, the robotic Martian women, um, and Carl Sagan's head. So, you know, come along for this fantastic adventure. There you go. We got an intergalactic highway. See the giant straight line? That's exactly what that is. Got a V right there. There's my V. Yep, there you go. I found Planet X. It was easy. You see these shapes? Oh, crap. See that? There you go. We found it. I'm seeing that shape in the sun and in weather earth patterns all the time. Probably a neutron star. This one is colorful. Much like your face. The stars at night are big and bright deep in the heart of the wise whatever. If you expected this video to be hilarious, well your expectations were too high buddy. This, this is real science. And science is never funny. Yes, some black star. Hey black star you've gone too far. Come back. Wait wait no. Don't. Looks like there's a lot of sunlight in outer space. I don't know if you knew that. Also it looks like Intergalactic rain. Intergalactic rain. Hey. Boom. Yeah, some are definitely more interesting than others. What do we get here? See how that shun the sun shoots out like a magic cosmic ray. A giant disco ball. How the good ones go? Are you bored? And take some illegal drugs. Says rogue illegal drug using NASA. No, I made all that up and it wasn't even funny. Now I feel bad. What have I done? Boom. The stars sparkle and twinkle for you. Are you listening? Ooh, this one looks like a winner. I'm noticing a lot of the stars in here have like a giant Jupiter-like blob that's always next to it. Sure, they call it a ghost or a lens artifact. All right, and this is the part of the universe that is on drugs. Sure, it's dangerous, but it's really fun there. As with drugs, it always really depends on A, what you're doing, and the people you're doing it with. And I only know this because I passed through Austin and Colorado on two separate occasions. That one looks kind of cool. I wonder if anybody's going to find like an alien ship. I'm guessing totally. Oh, we got a fascinating one. Better sit down. Looks like two giant chopsticks that are heading for a star. We have a giant space monster that eats stars with chopsticks. That's crazy. I wish Planet X would have like a name tag on it, on this thing. that would just say, hi, I'm Planet X. You have won. And I would say, thanks, Planet X, but we are all winners here. The Planet X would say, ah, I'm coming to destroy your planet. And I would say, you're a dick, ass face. And we would get a fist fight, and I would defeat Planet X, and I would be as cool as Mike Brown. Maybe? I don't know. Just an idea. It's Friday. You can fantasize on Friday, right? Totes. That star exploded. Holy smokes. That's definitely a variable star. Because some stars have no variables. 
don't even know what that means. Sometimes scientists say a lot of shit. Sometimes it's dumb shit. They have non-variable stars. I'm like, are you for reals? And science is like, yes, I am. I'm like, okay, let's go get margaritas. Science is like, no, I have to science. I'm like, you could totally drink margaritas and look through this crap, man. And then science is like, no, your motor skills go down, so you'll not be able to recognize fast movers as well when you're drunk. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Get out of my face. You're no fun. That one's interesting. See, this is the blob right here. Like, you'll have the star here, and there's just a giant, like, proto-Jupiter sitting next to it. You can't make this crap up. Well, I mean, technically you can. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. This ghost is moaning. Can you hear it? I'm telling you. They didn't warn me that some of these things would have very sexy female ghost moaning noises. Maybe these stars were just born and are just now waking and finding out that life hurts. Oh, look at this one. This one's fascinating. And see how it's got the blob over here. No, oh, its blob looks more like a triangle or giant spaceship. What if every star had a giant spaceship? These are the questions we need to know. Oh, well. We can't all be winners, says capitalism, but capitalism is a mean jerk, you know? That guy will steal your lunch money and blame it on you. What do stars and economics have to do with each other? Everything, man. Everything. This one looks boring. I'm gonna click it anyway. It ain't moving. Yeah, space is definitely like water, but different? Watch it move and sway like a woman's hips before she's ready to meow. All right, I ain't making no damn sense. Make that genderless, like a genderless person's hips before they're ready to meow. There you go. Did I offend nobody with that? That's perfect. That's what Thor News is about. Offending nobody ever. All the time. While we do hardcore real science. Look at that. Star explodes. Supernova. Star explodes. Star. Star explodes. Oh, let me see that one again. Wow. Star. Black star. Star. Star explodes. Supernova. Black star. Star. Star explodes. Supernova. Man, this game is fun. An action pack. Man, this game is fun. An action pack. I wonder what this one is. It's a Venus star. Half black, half light. Half darkness, half light. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found a new type of star. It's a Venus star. I imagine at times, dating Venus might be interesting and difficult, but damn worth it. Oh my god, I found a giant comet. Look at that. We're all gonna die. Asterisk? Eventually, I guess. Science is filled with the hard truth. Look at that thing. That's a giant comet that just kind of disappears. Have no fear. So someone killed the killer comet that was planet size. What's that? Okay, this one looks cool. We got a giant pyramid in outer space comprised of interstellar medium and then a massive star. See what they do. That one's cool. It's giving me my Christmas card next year. Asterisk. Don't worry, we're almost done. Asterisk. Asterisk. Wow, that one looks cool. It moves left, moves right, and it goes pow. I'm bright. Wow, that one looks cool too. It's like an interstellar medium food fight. And I'm sure if I had a NASA professional watching this video, they would say, hey, most of those are ghosts or lens artifacts. They aren't real, man. And I'd say, I know. I know. Uh-oh. Another giant comet shooting between three stars. Oh, did it hit that star and kill it? We'll never know. Or maybe we'll know when the James Webb Space Telescope comes up. That thing will tell us everything we need to know. Can you imagine if we had this shit in high def? That would be so awesome. But you can't find happiness. I was dreaming about the future. You gotta find it now. So let's let's get happy. What is that? Oh my god. It's like a space prison. And they put all the bad stars and nebulas and stuff back there. See behind the bars? Instead of just a slaver planet. Imagine if it's a slaver universe. That would be really sad. It would be really freaking sad. But an end to unfair intergalactic prisons, please? Maybe. Just an idea. Think about it. I wonder if they profitize that galactic prison. Ooh. That one's weird. What is that right there? Hey, dude, maybe that's Planet X. Maybe not. How will they know? No, that's the same one. Why am I duplicating shit? Ooh. This one's pretty. Make it a t-shirt. Oh, crap. Look at that thing. It's on fire. This photo's on fire. Yeah, we got nothing. Oh, this one. So much action happening. It's astronomical. Colored noise. Everybody's favorite. This one looks scary. And then all of a sudden, a giant orange wave eats everything and turns it black, blue, or orange. Let a lesson be learned by that. I don't know what the lesson is. You can you can make it up on your own. Yes, the giant orange and blue wave looks to eat everything in its path. So smoke them if you got them, because that thing will be here anywhere between tomorrow and like a trillion light years. Life has a lot of variables, just like some stars. Asterisk, they all have variables. Oh, and then we end with our winner, Planet Nine. I did not find it. Somebody else did. Sure, it's Mike Brown. Look at Planet Nine. Planet Nine kind of looks like a star. That would make a nemesis. Fantastic. Well, this has been another exciting episode of Backyard Worlds. Planet Nine talk, most fascinating subjects. So, get to it. Get to Backyard Worlds. Go find Planet Nine. And then get world famous. And then, we'll have some, like, person that'll go have sex with Planet Nine. They'll become really famous. That was a weird Kim Kardashian reference. I, I don't know if it's funny. If it wasn't funny, forgive me. Sometimes I'm not funny. Trust me. So, trust me. No, it's like an arrow pointing. Okay, we're done. Peace out. God bless everyone.